So here we have our character animation from the last lesson. So what we want to do now is export it out from Mixamo so that we can use it with other 3D application of our choice. So for that, we simply click on download right here. And here we can choose the format we want to download it in. So there's FBX, there's FBX for Unity. If you plan to use Unity Game Engine for this animation, there's Collade and so forth. So I'm just going to go for FBX right here. So you can choose whether you want to add in the skin or not. So I'm just going to add in the skin and you can choose the frame per second as well. By default, it's 30. So I'm just going to leave as it is. There's also like key form, uh, keyframe reduction. So if you want to make the animation a bit more smooth, you can reduce out the keyframes as well. So I'm just going to leave that as it is because I don't want any change in the motion. So I'm just going to click on download just like that. So once it downloads out, you can see right here that it says it's preparing the download. So it does take some time to process everything out. So now over here, uh, it'll be downloading just like that. So that process uh, finished quite fast. Uh, that, that's faster than what I expected. But over here, you can see that the character is being downloaded right over here. And you can see the character in action just like this. So once it's down downloads, I'm just going to fast forward this part. So once it's download, um, we can access this in a 3D application on our Windows machine. So now it has completed downloading. So I'm just going to open up this file and Windows 3D Viewer will open that out. So once that opens it out, let's see this. Our character is here in Microsoft Windows 3D. Uh, you can see that there's everything, like there's like FVX and everything, as you can see. There's like uh, some errors in the model, so that is quite normal. Uh, so we usually are like go around on to uh, make some more again, and maybe you want to reduce out some of the speed and everything else to correct that out. But anyways, if you can see, you can work around with lightings right over here, change around with the lightings and everything. And you can see that everything changes around right over here, just like that. So you can go around and change this around. So there's a lot of things that you can work around with. And that is how you can export out the animation from Mixamo uh, and use it in other 3D applications. So just like you open up using the 3D view in Windows, you can use other applications like Maya, Cinema 4D, or Blender, whatever you wish to further continue working on as well. So you want a quick character, then you can work around just like that. So that is how you can export animations from Mixamo uh, and use it with other applications. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.